Today, I'm taking this time to pray for every one of you in need of a financial miracle. But before I pray, I want to share the Word of God to bless your day that is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. The Bible says, And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you abound in every good work. Amen. And so let's call upon the name of the Lord. Would you lift up your situations to the Lord and let's believe Him for a miracle today. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, I stand in prayer in agreement with this man, this woman. Father God, you know each one of them by name. You know what they need. You know the miracle that they need financially. Some of them, they are in desperate need of a financial breakthrough today. And I stand through the power of prayer in your name. Uh, your word declares in Matthew chapter 18, verse 19, where two of you agree on earth concerning anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. So, Father God, we stand through the power of agreement in your word, asking you that you open a door for them. I pray that you make a way where it seems to be no way. I pray, Father God, that you open the door for a job, for a new job. I pray for favor in the workplace. I pray for provision. I pray for increase. I pray for raises. I pray for bonuses. I pray, Father God, that you place this man, this woman, in front of the right people at the right time. I ask you, Heavenly Father, that this finances that they are in need of right now, Lord God, let it come forth. Let this money come into their hands. I pray for a miracle to take place in their lives. I pray that you remove the heavenly burdens. I pray that you remove the heaviness, the weight, the oppression, everything that is coming against this man, this woman. I pray specifically for the mind of Christ. I pray that you touch them in the mind, that you remove all the confusion, all the fears concerning the future and how to pay the bills. I pray in your precious mighty name that you make a way where it seems to be no way. I declare and I decree today let the finances come from the four corners of the earth into this man, this woman's hand. I pray, Father God, for those who are waiting for a new job, for those who are waiting on a phone call, for those who are waiting for a settlement, for those who are waiting for an inheritance. I pray let this finance, let this wealth come into their hands for the glory of your name. Father God, I I declare clarity of mind. I declare peace in the inside. I pray that to make a way for them so that they can glorify your name. I declare and I decree financial miracles, financial breakthroughs in their lives. And also I pray according to your word found in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 14. Your word declares that your angels, they are ministering spirits sent forth to me minister to the heirs of salvation. So right now I ask you, give a command to your angels, Father God, to go forth and to gather the wealth that belongs to this man, this woman. Lord God, let your angels go forth. You open the doors. If there's any hindrance in the spiritual realm, if there's anything hindering this man, this woman to receive the wealth, to receive the finance, to receive the provision that they need, I ask you, Lord God, let every hindrance in the spirit realm to be destroyed even now as we pray and let hope come back into their lives. Let strength come back upon their lives. Let joy, the joy that comes from your presence right now I declare upon each one of them in your precious name we declare that every hindrance every spirit of poverty and lack we rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus and we ask Lord God for 
for provision, for promotions. We ask you, Father God, for your blessings to be upon their lives today in your precious might name. I declare today the blessings of heaven upon this man, upon this woman, in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus, today I am standing in prayer with my dear brother and sister. Father God, I know that I am praying with people that are in desperate need of a financial miracle. And so, Father God, I stand in your word according to Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7. Your word declares, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you'll find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Father God, we are asking you, according to your word, that within 24 hours you bless the work of this man, this woman, that you bless their hand with the financial provision that they need. Father God, you are the God of more than enough. You are the God of provision. You are the God that blesses your people. And so we are calling upon your name because we know that our provision comes from you. We know that our strength comes from you. We know, Father God, that you are a God of abundance. And so we call on your name. We ask you, Heavenly Father, would you bless us? Would you open the windows of heaven and bless us, Lord God, with a miracle, Lord God, with a financial miracle that will be more than enough to take care of the bills, to be able to provide for our families, but also, Father God, to have more than enough to take care of those who are in need around us. Father God, I pray for this man. I pray for this woman. According to Mark chapter 11 and verse 24, your word declares, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And so, Father God, we claim our blessing. We declare within 24 hours financial provision coming into the hands of this man and this woman. I pray, Father God, for money in the mail. I pray, Father God, that you bless them, Lord God, with increase, with provision, with money coming into their hands so that they can pay all their bills so that they can provide Provide, Lord God, for their families in Jesus' mighty name. I declare and I decree, Father God, the blessings coming upon my brother and my sister. I break off all the stress, the anxiety, the fear, and how they're going to pay for their bills this month, how they're going to take care of their family. Father God, I pray. Touch my brother and my sister. He strengthen, Father God. I pray for faith to explode inside of them. I pray for faith to arise inside of them, Father God. That they will not going to be looking at the situation, at the circumstance. But they will look to you knowing that their help comes from you and from you alone. Father, I bless my brother and my sister from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. And as a minister of the gospel, I declare provision coming from the four corners of the earth, coming into this man and this woman in Jesus' mighty name. I bless them and I bless them. And if you receive my brother, my sister, say, I receive in Jesus' name. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you because you are my provider. You are my helper. And I choose to trust you and to trust your word. You are the God of abundance, signs, and miracles. And I expect to see my miracle in your precious name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. My brother, my sister, it's been a great honor and a great blessing to be able to pray and to stand with you again. Please stay in faith, believing that God is turning your situation around today. Amen. God bless you. If you've been blessed by this prayer, would you please take the time to like this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. And bye for now.